sustainability here means that we um, really engage our community in all the ways that we can think of to use the least amount of resources and to leave the least amount of impact on what we do use. Environmental sustainability means social justice. Um, they go hand in hand. It's really hard to try to change anyone's mind and um, a lot of people are set in their ways but I, I mean it, it takes the individual to, to think outside the box. It's our technology changes and building changes and how it affects the environment uh, not only on campus but around for the world. People working in academics doing research on climate change, biofuels, and other types of environmental projects. We have students learning about environment and environmental science or studies classes, and geography, and we have people doing environmental work like us at Enviro Western, so trying to improve sustainability on campus. Utilizing my training, my education in biochemical engineering, and uh, utilizing that to minimize the impact on the environment, specifically the impact of technology on the environment. Uh, what I'm really interested in is uh, biological systems, and this is actually nature's best engineering. Being green is something you can actually accomplish and you can see realizable change. If you just use a re reusable mug that EnviroWeston provides, you can cut down on waste and you can actually see that kind of change. I think sustainability, especially at Western, and being a student is about the small steps you can do that make a relatively large impact. At Western, uh, we've got a special opportunity because the whole of the campus is designated as an arboretum. And so it has the opportunity to um, get away from the trend of non-natives and bring in more and more natives, some of which might be rare in our, our local environment. And it not only increases the sustainability of those species effectively, but the beauty and interest of the campus. Oh, if we're polluting our air and our water and our soil, we're not going to have a place to live. Or if we're polluting air and water and soil in other parts of the world and destroying other people's lives to live um, a, the very privileged lifestyles that we do here, um, then you have to ask yourself, is that sustainable or not? And clearly it's not. I mean, our, our global economic system right now is environmentally and socially degrading. The biggest hurdle uh, right now that uh, we're facing on campus is uh, educating uh, the students and staff on how to recycle and separate their, their recyclable products a lot better than they are right now. As you can see in some of the pictures, um, garbage going in the recycle bins and recyclable stuff going in the garbage. One of the initiatives that we do at the University Students Council is Enviro Week, which we team up with Enviro Western to do that week uh, in the year and really just to show students you know, uh, some of the alternatives uh, that are easy for all of us to do. It's something that you have to do on a daily basis and you have to make sure you're staying on top of it. I'm working with a local farm and we are growing microalgae on farm effluent and all the manure goes into some biogas digesters where they produce methane. Basically they convert the biogas to electrical energy. We take that liquid which is coming out of the digester and we also take the carbon dioxide and we grow microalgae so the microalgae have many uses. One of them is to actually produce something called biodiesel. So we can take the oil, we can convert that to biodiesel and you can run tractors. You can also take high value proteins and you can use it as animal feed. At the end of the process, we produce very clean water, which is recycled back to the farm, closing the loop on the farm, taking all the waste from the farm and making valuable products, capturing the CO2, capturing the waste and making more valuable products and putting them back in the farm. We can use the brain power we have on campus to benefit the community that's brought us this um, beautiful institution where we gain that knowledge. I'm doing a project right now on metering and once people see how much uh, energy we're, we're using every day, I think people, and we're going to do it per building, so everybody's going to know in their building how much energy is going to be used, I think they're going to be astonished. People will realize that it doesn't actually take that much effort to bring a mug or to start recycling, um, and it really doesn't make that much of a difference to you to take five steps more and put it in the recycling bin versus the garbage can. It shouldn't come down to something that happens and, and people go, whoa, oh my gosh, we need to do something about it. I mean, I think it's just, you know, you need to care about the planet, you need to care about your environment. And turn lights off, you know what I mean? Use a reusable mug. 
Um, all these little things add up and they do make a difference. And uh, I hope that it happens soon. I hope people realize this soon. Uh, I don't know exactly what it will take, but I hope that people start to catch on. There's always more you can do. I think sustainability is about culture. It's not one person owning it. It's all of us owning it. And so as long as, you know, not everybody is recycling, it's just automatically a symbol of we can do more.